Hi there and welcome to our how to set up the cash flow chart of accounts in financials for Office 365 video. Today we're going to look at setting up the cash flow chart of accounts in order to run our cash flow forecast. As discussed in our previous video, the introduction to cash flow, the chart of cash flow accounts window specifies where all cash flow forecast entries are registered and arranged for use in the cash flow forecast. To begin, let's open the Chart of Cash Flow Accounts window. In the search box, enter Cash Flow Accounts and then choose the related link. Here is one that we set up earlier, which you will see being used in our How to Set Up a Cash Flow Forecast and How to Use a Cash Flow Forecast videos. This window is used to set up, enter, and view your cash flow accounts that defines the structure of your cash flow forecast and the individual sources. What we're seeing here is the cash flow forecast from the demo database Cronus International. If you would like this brought into your live company, please speak to a services partner of Financials for Office 365. The good thing about this is that you only have to set this up once. These figures are transferred to our cash flow forecast through the cash flow worksheet window, which generates our cash flow entries. So to begin setting up our cash flow account, on the Home tab in the New Group, choose New to create a new cash flow account. For this example, we're going to set up a cash flow account for building occupancy costs that will be sourced from our general ledger budget entries. Enter the cash flow account number and account name in the relevant fields. In the Account Type field, select an account type to identify the purpose of the cash flow account. There are three main types. There's an entry account type, which is one that you use to register forecasted cash flow entry amounts to. There's also a beginning total and an end total account to total a series of cash flow accounts that starts with the preceding begin total account. The total is defined in the totaling field, which must be filled in and can be done so automatically by using the indent chart of cash flow accounts function the same way as the chart of accounts. In this case, we'll stick with the entry account type. In the source type field, select a source type. The source type that is specified in the chart of cash flow accounts is used when using the suggest worksheet lines function when creating your cash flow worksheet. These are things like receivables, payables, liquid funds, sales orders, purchase orders, fixed asset budgets, fixed asset disposals, service orders, and manual revenues and expenses. For our example, we'll select general ledger budget as the source type. Select an option in the general ledger integration field which is where either the balances of the general ledger accounts or their budget values are included in the cash flow forecast, provided a cash flow account is integrated with the general ledger. In this case, we will select budget. The general ledger account filter field is where you enter a filter to specify the entries that are linked to the filtered general ledger accounts included in the cash flow forecast. Let's specify an account range of 8110 to 8130 to include our cleaning, electricity, and repairs and maintenance accounts. You even have the option to add comments to cash flow accounts to enter additional information to the cash flow account by selecting comments on the navigate tab. This information can be about the contents of the fields. You add these comments as text lines. Choose the escape button to close the window. And after we are happy that we've set up all of the cash flow accounts, on the Home tab in the Process group, select Indent Chart of Cash Flow Accounts to update the structure of the cash flow account that we just created. And now you're ready for our How to Set Up a Cash Flow Forecast and How to Use a Cash Flow Forecast videos. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a Windows specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption, or for a column, click on the heading and select help like so. And that was how to set up the cash flow chart of accounts within Financials for Office 365.